Hey everyone, it is Michelle Alexandria. I know I said I did not want to do a lot of videos about my TV or any of that kind of stuff because I want to cover entertainment. So actually this is about entertainment, entertainment, this, the thing I love the most. I love being entertained. Are you entertained yet? So I still have my Sony 950G. So far I'm really loving it. I um, know last week I posted a video saying how much I hate Sony and Sony products, and that is still true. I do hate Sony products and Sony, but with that said, almost everything I own in my house is a Sony product, so I do have a right to complain about Sony products. I am just like the rest of you. I am afraid. Don't take anything that I say with, as though it's gospel. <laughs> it's not. I am just like the rest of you, just here trying to get along with life, have a little fun, talk tech, talk video, movies, and everything else. That's all. So don't come at me. I don't really care. Don't come at me or you'll be blocked. So anyway, um, today's video is about IMAX Enhanced. I'm still working on the Sony 950G review, and I will probably be posting that this weekend along with some more, a couple of more videos about this TV. I will say I may end up returning it, but not because I hate it. I absolutely adore this TV, but the C9 is kind of calling to me. I'll do more on that later. But this Sony 950G bar none is the best, one of the best LCD TVs I've ever owned. It's actually the best LCD TV I've ever owned. And I would say that all day long. And I would, and that's, that's a spoiler for my upcoming review of this TV. <laughs> um, so one of the hidden features that no one talks about is the Sony 950G also supports IMAX Enhanced. Now what IMAX Enhanced is, is sort of similar to Dolby Vision, where basically IMAX has come up with their own standard, their own movie standard, and they're rolling it out this year. And the only TV so far that supports it basically is the Sony 950G and the Sony Master Series TV. Um, and again, the 950G is $1,500 versus $3,500 for the Master Series OLED. So keep that in mind when you look at this TV. This TV supports IMAX Enhanced, and originally I was a little skeptical about it, but the nice thing is Sony gives you three free movies and one free documentary to go along with uh, when, you, when you launch it. So basically what you do is you go into your bonus area. You, you go into your bonus offer area and then you go to IMAX enhanced mode and you can redeem up to three free movies right now and you know and they're all Sony movies so it includes Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man Homecoming and some other things and since I already own those movies I went with Spider Amazing Spider-Man 2 because I actually really love that movie of course it has some issues but I like that movie and I don't think I never actually owned it so that was I owned it on Voodoo but I didn't own it on anything else now I discover that it's on it's available on movies anywhere but anyway I digress I digress so so basically what you do is go here Go to your bonus, you click your experience, and, uh, and redeem, redemption on everything is really easy because basically what you do, because it's tied to your Google account, you go in, you click it, and boom, it's right there. That's the thing I like, I love about the Sony TV is they, are, they give you a lot of different bonuses with your TV, with your TV purchase. So you get three free IMAX enhanced movies. And I'm going off topic for this video right really quickly, but you get three free IMAX enhanced videos. You get a year's free subscription to Curiosity Stream, which is a service I really like, but never actually subscribe to. You get not three months of Pandora Premium. So I would say that's pretty darn good. That That's pretty darn good. That's pretty, that's pretty darn good, Sony. Good on you. So anyway, you subscribe, you get your free movies, then you have to redeem it on this service called, um, you have to download this app called Privilege 4K, you download it, boom, it's on here, you launch it, and then you link it up to your email, and within 10 minutes, I was up and running, I selected my three free movies, and the three free movies I selected were Venom, because surprisingly enough, I never actually bought it, it's, it wasn't worth the purchase to me, so I, I went out and, so I got Venom, I got Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I got Inferno, the other seven or eight movies that were available as part of the free options were um 
I believe Spy- the two Spider-Man movies, so Far From Home, Homecoming, MIB, uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, and then there was one other that I forget which one. So of that very limited selection, I went with these three. Now, the thing is, this supports Dolby DTX. This TV has eARC, so you go over here to eARC, and, be, and at first, I was not a believer in the eARC thing. I thought eARC was a scam, but I activated it the other day, and man, I am blown away. As I said, I have a Sony soundbar, the H9F Dolby Atmos soundbar, and, we, and that supports DTX, which is the IMAX thing. You go in here, go in the display and sound, you go to audio output, and then you activate ER. Man, and, and I set my Dolby, my digital out to PCM so that I'm guaranteed to get the Dolby, the Dolby Atmos. Um, so I think that's how that how that works. I'm not really sure. I'm not an audiophile. You have to talk to my to my guy Techno Dad. Check out his channel TechnoDad.com. And I want to thank Fade to Black for convincing me to buy this TV because I never would have bought it if I didn't watch this video. So check out his channel because I'm loving this TV. So anyway, uh, you have digital audio out PCM, and then you go out here, and now you have your Dolby. Now you have your IMAX Enhanced, and wow. I don't know. I don't know what people are saying when they're not impressed. I think this is so much better than HDR and Dolby Di- Dolby Vision material. I was watching Blue Planet. I was watching a little bit of Inferno earlier this week and Spider Man Two. Oh my God! It looks so amazing. The, the thing I really hate is is IMAX. So you expect the the black bars not to be a thing, but you still have to deal with black bar. Black bars and letterboxing on IMAX Enhanced, which is annoying as crap. Um, because when you watch Inferno, that's pretty much full screen, and it looks glorious. Blue Planet looks stunning. And then with the when you have the ERC and the, Dolby D, and the DTX uh, surround sound happening, oh my god, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful experience. It's almost worth picking up this TV just for... Just for the IMAX Enhanced stuff. The only problem with IMAX Enhanced is it's such a new thing. It's only available on the Sony TVs, as far as I'm aware. And there isn't that much material available for it. There are no Blu-ray 4K players that would support the thing. And then you're here. Where's the store? There's no store to actually go in. And, And I'm assuming this is a Sony app. But there's no store where you can actually buy stuff, where you can buy anything. And that's pretty freaking annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and get the copyright strike because I just want, for you guys, I'm going to play this clip of what IMAX Enhanced is. And they'll probably block it and I'll, or I'll probably get a copyright strike. But let's see how it goes. So I'm going to end, end the video right here. So if I get the copyright strike, I can easily delete this part and upload it. But let me know what you think. This is just Awesome, awesome stuff. And I'm just going to play it, and we're going to go... Ooh, wait, that's... don't want to do that. No, don't want to do that. That would definitely get me struck. I mean, Sony is the same company that gave me a copyright strike for playing a GD logo once, so I'm just going to do this. Please note the bloom is strictly on the camera. It's not on the TV at all. There's no bloom on the TV. Which is ironic since this is coming from a Sony camcorder, an AS33.
Watching this just doesn't get old. Oh my god. Wow. Let's applaud. So yes, the bloom is strictly from the TV, from the camera. It's not from the TV. I just have to reiterate that. So anyway, I'm going to close. I'm going to head on out. So again, I didn't like this because I want to be able to easily cut that clip if I need to. So talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>